Hey everybody, Mr. Reeves back with you yet again. And today we are looking at the IXL practice skills on proportional relationships. And in this video, we're going to look at skills I1 through I4. All right, so with no further delay, let's dive right in. Okay, it says there's a huge sale at the grocery store, so Trevor stocks up on his favorite breakfast cereal, Frosted Crunchy Bunches. Doesn't that sound yummy? As he puts cereal boxes on the shelf in his pantry, he wonders if he has enough shelf space. There is a proportional relationship between the number of cereal boxes Trevor stores on his pantry shelf, how many cereal boxes does he need, and the amount of shelf space in inches to take up. What is the constant of proportionality? So remember, if you watched my previous video, I sure hope you did. Or if you watched the Khan Academy material and did the Khan Academy practice, I sure hope you did. That the constant of proportionality K is equal to Y divided by X. So K is equal to Y divided by X. Remember, we write the equation Y equals k times x so the second quantity which in this case is inches is equal to a constant times the first quantity which is the number of boxes right so three boxes take up six inches and so on so if we want to know that constant of proportionality k then we simply do y divided by x and if it's a proportional relationship then it does not matter which of these you choose you will get the same result every time so 6 divided by 3 equals 10 divided by 5 equals 12 divided by 6 equals 16 divided by 8, which equals 2 over 1 or simply 2. So the constant of proportionality is 2. It takes 2 inches per box. All right, there we go. And that is the answer. We would do something very similar on this one, right? We would simply do, what, 20 divided by 5 or 16 divided by 4. Each time we're going to get that constant of proportionality, which is 4. All right, let's skip up to the next level. Here we go. All right, same thing. What is the constant of proportionality? All right, if you take a look at this one, the x and the y are the same. So what do you multiply a number by to get the same result? You multiply by one wow pretty straightforward there okay does it get any more challenging as we go on all right do x and y have a proportional relationship if it is a proportional relationship then y divided by x will always be the same with no exceptions all right so let's take a look at this one and see if that is the case all right, so for this first one, if we do 20 scoops divided by 4 liters, we get 5, 5 scoops per liter, right? If we do the next one, 25 divided by 5, we also get 5. If we do the next one, 30 divided by 6, we get 5. And finally, the last one, 40 divided by 8, we get 5. So this actually is a proportional relationship of five scoops per liter, right? So K is equal to five. We're going to say yes. What is the constant of proportionality? Five scoops per liter, just like Mr. Reeves said. Awesome. Okay, up to the next level. Okay, do X and Y have a proportional relationship? We're going to do uh, the same thing, right? 11 divided by two. 31 divided by 6, 36 divided by 9. Now, these ones do not go in evenly. All right, so if I divide 2 divided by, sorry, 11 divided by 2, I get 5 and a half, right? If I do 31 divided by 6, that one is not going to give me 5 and a half, right? If I do 31 divided by 6, sorry, 31 divided by 6, not 31 divided by 5, this is what I was thinking, right? 5 times 6 is 30. And then we have remainder of 1. This is 5.5, right? So this would be 5 and 1 sixth. 
and 5 and 1 sixth is not the same. If I wrote this as a fraction, it would be 5 and a half, all right? Once you find one that doesn't work, you can stop. There's no need to get going. I mean, there's no need to keep going uh, because it's like trying to prove something's false. You only have to prove it's false once. So in order for it to be a proportional relationship, it has to work for all of them. Y divided by X must always be the same number. In order for it not to be a proportional relationship, there's only one of them that you have to find that does not work. All right. Is there a challenge zone? Let's see if it gets any super duper harder in the challenge zone. Same deal here. We're going to divide Y divided by X and see if we get the same results. All right, so that is I1. Let's dive into I2. Write equations. Okay, so remember, before I even get to this problem, as I just said previously, the constant of proportionality is equal to y divided by x. We can rewrite this, right, and say y is equal to k times x, right? And this is the equation that we usually use for a proportional relationship. By the way, this is also an equation, right? And I wonder what x equals. Hmm, could we write that as well? We could write k equals. We could write y equals. We could write x equals. All right, I'll let you guys figure that one out. A little bonus question for you there. Okay, so if we take a look, if we do 4 divided by 1 or 8 divided by 2 or 12 divided by 3, we get k is equal to 4, right? So what's my equation going to be? It's going to be y equals, sorry, not 6x, boys and girls. That would be a 4. Forgive me for the typo. There we go. y is equal to 4x. All right, so again, this one, 8 divided by 4, 10 divided by 5, 16 divided by 8. We're going to go ahead and have a 2. y is equal to 2x, all right? Okay, let's skip up and see what they have for us at the next level. Same idea here. There is a proportional relationship. 24 divided by 4, 36 divided by 6. Those are all 6, so k is equal to 6. So if you want to know any y, you simply take the x and multiply it by 6. That is our equation. Okay. All right, according to the values in the table, do they have a proportional relationship well if they do y divided by x will be the same value 19 divided by 1 is 19 38 divided by 2 is 19 57 divided by 3 is 19 and 76 divided by 4 is 19 so it is yes and then they're going to ask us for the equation all right what was that constant of proportionality it was 19 so if you want to know the value of y, simply take the value of x and multiply it by 19. All righty. Come on, give me something more challenging. Do we have a proportional relationship? All right, well, if you take a look here, 23, 20 over 20, 29 over 25, 46, 40 over 40. I think this is a good time to break out a calculator. Don't you think so? All righty, here we go. So I'm going to take the y values and I'm going to divide them by the x values using my handy dandy calculator. If this smart view introduction will get out of the way, come on, there you go. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to do 23, 20 divided by 20. And the answer that I get is 1.16. Now, I'm going to do things a little differently. I'm going to take 25 right here, and I'm going to multiply it by 1.16 and see if I actually get 29. What happens here? I did. I got 29. And if I do 40 times 1.16... Let's see if I get 4640. I do, and I let's see. I'm thinking that if I do 50 times 1.16, I might just get 58. Do I? I do. Well, look at that. So, yes, it is a proportional relationship, 
And the constant of proportionality was that 1.16 that I was multiplying by. And then x makes the equation y equals 1.16x. So I took any of these, multiplied it by 1.16, and I got that value of y. Okay. How about a challenge zone question? What do we have here? Do they have a proportional relationship? Okay, so again, we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to divide and see if we get the same result every time. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to skip instead to I3, identify proportional relationships by graphing. Cool, something unique and different from what we were doing. Ooh, a mysterious flying superhero known as Blue Sky protects the good citizens of Bloomington. Uh, is that Bloomington, Indiana? Unknown to these citizens, Blue Sky is actually a mild-mannered Nate, a scientist in a flying suit. Imagine that. Before noon, Nate can fly in the suit. But I'm sorry, before noon. Before Nate can fly in the suit, he needs to change charge its battery. If Nate charged the suit for one hour, he could fly for two hours. If he charged for five hours, he could fly for ten hours. In this relationship, X represents the number of hours he has charged, and Y represents what he can fly. So down here, hours charged, what he can fly. Graph two points, all right, and for this relationship. So you look, we have one goes to two, right? And then they gave us that five goes to ten. And look at that. There is our line. Before we put this in, let's take a couple, look at a couple observations. Notice it goes through zero, zero. This is essential. When you graph a proportional relationship, it will always go through zero, zero, because zero times anything is zero. Also, other points on this graph, two, four, three, six, six. Well, it's not on the graph, but you will notice that the y value is always twice the x value, right? So he gets two hours for every one hour of charging. Yes, it is a proportional relationship. All right, wonderful. All right, Victor's grandparents get him a puppy for his 13th birthday. Sparky, great puppy. Victor does a good job taking care of Sparky. And she's growing so fast. When Sparky is one month old, she's three pounds. When she's three months old, she's six pounds. All right, so one month is three pounds, right? And then what did they say? Three pounds, three months is six pounds. Three months is six pounds. Okay, all right. I have graphed the line according to the graph. Do they have a proportional relationship? All right, and here's our quick indicator right here. If you follow this line, it does not go through zero, zero. So that's your big clue that it is not a proportional relationship, right? And if you think about it, here's why. In one month, the puppy weighed three pounds, right? One times three is three. What should it have been if it was proportional? At three months, it should have been nine, right? Three times three is nine. Can you see if we drew a straight line up through there? In fact, just let me show you, right? If I were to go through zero, zero, can I get my line here? All right, that's a super duper wide line. Let's make a thinner line, and here we go. If I go through zero, zero, and I go through that point, do you see right there? There it is, right? Three, nine. That would be the proportional relationship, the red one, not the blue one. It is not proportional, so we're going to say no. We're going to say no. All righty. Let's see here. We got some piano practice going on here. We've got uh, one hour. She gives two cookies. Four hours, eight cookies. All right. So one hour is two cookies. Four hours is eight cookies. Take a look at that graph. Goes right through zero, zero. Two is twice of one. Four is twice of eight. So is it a proportional relationship? You bet. Betcha. The value of K, by the way, would be 2, and the equation would be Y equals 2X. All right, let's skip up and see what they have for us here. Blueberry muffins. One cup of flour makes four muffins. Five cups 
makes twi 20 muffins. So 1 goes to 4, 5 goes to 20, right? And again, take a look at that line right through 0, 0. It's a proportional relationship. Y is 4 times X, right? 2 is 8, 3 is 12, 4 is 16, 5 is 20. So our equation would be Y equals 4X, right? So it is, it is a proportional relationship. Okay, what do they got for us? Jumping up looks like the same kind of thing. How about we jump up one more time to the challenge zone? All right, the Crane Cone Company builds high-rise hotels in cities across the United States. The hotels use the same floor plan. Hotel 20 floors is 400 guests. 50 floors is 1,000. Whoa, they're getting big numbers. 20 is 400. 60 is, wait, 60? 50 is 1,000. I say, did they give us one that doesn't fit on the graph? All right, take a look at that line. Look at that. goes through zero, zero perfectly. If you take a look, it appears that our constant of proportionality is 20, right? 5 times 20 is 100. 10 times 20 is 200. So the number of guest rooms is 20 times the number of floors. Look at that. 20 rooms per Floor. All right, I think you got a good idea on that one. Let's go to our final skill for this video. I4, find the constant of proportionality from the graph, kind of what we have already been doing. Okay, you'll notice that we can confirm that this is a proportional relationship because it is a straight line going through 0, 0. So if I go ahead and just pick some values on here, all right, so 1 goes to 2, right? Do you see that right there? 1, 2. And then we have 2, 4, right? And then we have 3, 6. And then we have 4, 8. So I think you can see that y is equal to 2 times x, right? y is equal to 2 times x, or simply y equals 2x. So k is equal to 2. So our constant of proportionality is equal to 2. It is 2 feet per minute. 2 feet per minute is what we have going on there. All right. Same kind of deal here. We have a straight line going through 0, 0. On this one, do you see how the y values and the x values are exactly the same? 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. So that makes it pretty easy to see that our constant of proportionality is 1, right? Y is equal to 1 times X. They are the same, just like in that previous problem we did. All right, let's skip over to this one right here. All right, socks with crazy patterns. And here we go. Here is our cost, and here's our socks. All right, this is a much steeper line than the last one. Of course, our scale here is going by 2, and here is going by 5. So, interesting. 5 socks cost $10, right? 10 socks cost $20. So, can you see that? 5 goes to 10. 10 is twice of 5. 10 is twice of 5. That means it is $2 per sock. $2 per sock. All right. Is it going to get any harder here? Again, we have another straight line going through 0, 0, showing that this is a proportional relationship. We simply have to find a point on this line, right, and compare the x and the y values. Well, they have very big scales here. Again, 5 and 2. It sure looks to me like this point right here is 5, 20. Do you see that? x is 5 and y is 20. Well, 20 divided by 5 is 4. That would mean 4 should be 16. Looks like that, right? 3 should be 12. It's hard to confirm. The only one we can really tell for sure is that one. But we do know it's proportional because it's a straight line through 0, 0. So I'm thinking the constant of proportionality is 4. Yes, it has a proportional relationship. And it is 4 lines per day, right? 4 lines per day 
Yeah? Alrighty. Uh, how about that? Awesome. Awesome. Okay, same kind of deal here. Okay, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Take a look at this line, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you notice about this line? It does not go through zero, zero. It does not go through zero, zero. All right, so two goes to 40. Five, right so that would mean what half of 45 is 22.5 that would have to be the constant of proportionality so one would be at 22.5 so maybe I don't know we can't really tell can we but all you need to know is this line does not go through zero zero and if it does not go through zero zero it is not a proportional relationship all right 78 right here the graph shows that relationship, okay? Do they have a proportional relationship? Well, yes, it is a proportional relationship. It is a straight line that goes through zero, zero. What is that constant of proportionality? So again, we need to find a point on the line. 18, right? 2, 18, it looks like, right? 18 divided by 2 is 9. Does it look like 1 goes to 9? We can't know for sure, but it sure looks like it, right? So the y values are 9 times as big as the x values. So it is 9 squares per quart. 1 quart goes to 9, 2 quarts goes to 18, 3 goes to 27, and so on. Do we have a challenge zone? All right. Looks very similar. Do we have a proportional relationship? You tell me yes or no. Good answer, no, tell me why. That's right, it doesn't go through zero, zero. You are amazing. All right, one more here. Last one we're gonna do. All right, is it a proportional relationship? Is it a straight line that goes through zero, zero? You betcha it is. All right, what is that constant of proportionality? Let's find a point on the line. 10 goes to 10. 20 goes to 20. Oh, really? This is supposed to be the challenge zone, ladies and gentlemen. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 20 divided by 20 is 1. 100 divided by 100 is 1. It is 1 megawatt per year. And that is all we have. All right. I hope you found this as fun, as exciting as I did. The first four skills on proportional relationships and stay tuned for our exciting next video where we will do four more skills until then have a great day bye